Look at what we got here. Mustang. And look over here. It's Maserati. We walking on it right now. Look at it. Rachel never bring me car like that. That's why I tell you, you always bring me the junk. Fast and Loud made a name on the Discovery Channel as one of the best automotive reality style shows. The TV show featured Richard Rawlings and his crew from Gas Monkey Garage in Texas as they searched for beat up cars and restored them so they could be sold at a profit. The cast of Fast and Loud is one of the reasons why its fans love the show so much. One very interesting character is Yulon Heiso Martin, popularly known as Sue. She was a fan favorite on the show thanks to her interesting personality and catchphrase, Why you always bring me junk? Hey, what do you want this time? Rachel always bring me junk. Always bring me junk. Always give me junk. Don't you ever bring a Ferrari here? However, after several seasons of appearing on the show, Sue went under the radar and no official statements were made about her departure. Later in 2020, the show was canceled due to creative challenges. Everybody hold on to your hat out there. Fast and loud is no more. <gasps> uh, I have exited Discovery and uh, I'm a free agent. So join us as we look at the life of Sue after Fast and Loud was axed. This is my office. Look at the wall. This is what I did before. Oh, we do a lot of things here. We do C, we do headliner, we do home furniture, we do boat, we do some small airplane. Sue was born in Taiwan into a family that instilled a hard work ethic in her. Her family was made up of hardworking farmers, so she learned from when she was a toddler the importance of hard work. While seeking more lucrative job opportunities, Sue picked up upholstery, a skill that would take her places she could have never imagined. She got married, had children, and in 1984, decided to relocate with her family to the United States for greener pastures. In 1990, she decided to try out the upholstery business with her family, and one of her first projects was her husband's 1968 Gran Torino, which she finished with the help of a friend in her garage. Soon after this first project, Sue was presented with the opportunity to buy an already existing upholstery company in Dallas, Texas that was bankrupt. She bought it for $4,500 and moved into the company's 1,000 square feet garage. This marked the start of her upholstery company, which she named ASM Auto Upholstery. Having learned what it means to be a hard worker, Sue quickly transformed ASM Auto into something truly phenomenal. She worked 24 hours a day, sometimes back to back, with few or no breaks. All her time was invested in the business, and she practically lived in the garage. With time, Sue gained a reputation as one of the best upholsterers in the business. As her clientele and reputation grew, she rented an adjoining 1,000 square feet, and ASM Auto Upholstery grew even bigger. Then she moved into a 2,000 square feet garage across the street and leased her building area. Within three years, Sue's company was profitable enough to buy the entire complex, which she did. After moving into the new building, she caught the attention of Richard Rawlings, who owned a shop just down the street and was looking for the services of a quality upholsterer. Word had gone around that Sue's expertise and the exceptional work ASM Autos did. Her no-nonsense attitude and straightforwardness were also something that drew Richard's attention. After discovering Sue, Richard sent her some work, and they both hit things off. The interesting relationship between these two would become one of the prominent features of Fast and Loud, and this would be how Sue got to be on a reality TV show. Even though she was not a regular member of Gas Monkey Garage and only a guest on the reality TV show, Sue had a personality that the viewers immediately fell in love with. And unlike Richard, who exudes a personality that's demanding and meticulous, Sue was fun to be around. At times, she jokingly refers to Richard's garage as Ass Monkey Garage, which earned her some points with the viewers. Sue always finds ways to make fun of Richard and Gas Monkey Garage. In an episode, she criticized Richard's cheapness, saying, I have deals for everyone except cheap ass monkey. She also became known for the phrase, why you always bring me junk, because most of the projects from Gas Monkey Garage are usually in the worst shape. Sue mentions that since most of their vehicles are restorations, it's usually a lot of work that needs to be completed quickly. As Fast Loud continued, Sue began appearing more and more on the show, with some segments getting filmed at her shop. This brought some fresh content to the viewers and also meant media exposure for ASM Auto Upholstery. However, as the show progressed, it was evident that there was some kind of tension between Sue and Richard. And while she always called Richard Monkey, it was hard to determine if she was furious and meant it or just doing it for the benefit of the show to entertain the viewers. Things were going well for a while until they weren't, and Sue disappeared from the TV show. 
Upon Sue's disappearance from the show, neither Richard nor Discovery Channel made official statements acknowledging her absence, and this left the fans with many questions. While it's common for cast members to be sacked from a reality TV show, Sue's exit was even more dramatic because she just left, with no explanation, no reason, nothing. Her absence has been blamed on Richard Rawlings, especially as rumors about his personality and alleged tussle with the show's producers keep flying around. However, the hidden truth may be that Richard found another upholsterer whose services or pricing he preferred to Sue's and decided Gas Monkey Garage would rely on them until the show was axed in 2020. Since Sue was never an employee of Gas Monkey Garage, it's easy to see why no official statement was made by Richard when she stopped working with the shop and left the show. To date, neither Sue nor Richard has given a reason as why their partnership ended. However, there are many theories. One theory is that she left the show due to a business fallout between her and Richard. Seeing how much she called him a cheap monkey, this doesn't seem so far-fetched. Some fans pointed out how Richard usually uses Sue's company for low-paying rush jobs that would not highlight her expertise or skills. While talking to a media outlet, Sue was quizzed about the attention her company has gotten due to the time she spent on the show. She spoke about this in her time on the show, saying, I think since it's a reality show, you don't see what the craft is really about. We do a lot of different things that aren't on the show. It would be nice to redo only hot rods and be able to make a living at my shop, but that's not the way it is. We work all day every day on a variety of projects, from furniture to marine and even airplane upholstery. That added to the fact that most of the jobs Richard brought to Sue always had ridiculously short deadlines may have pushed Sue to end the partnership. In the same interview, she addressed those short deadlines saying, Due to the fact that Richard's vehicles are often scheduled for sale at auctions, the deadlines are real and we manage by putting several employees on their projects and working late. There are other theories that point out that Sue made several appearances in the spin-off series Misfit Garage, so maybe she's just looking for another show to work with and it has nothing to do with Richard Rawlings. Since the duo has refused to say anything about it, we may never know the exact reason behind Sue's exit. Since leaving the show, Sue has only gone on to do what she does best, auto upholstery. Despite the amount of time she spent filming for the show, she never let her business suffer and has even expanded it. She opened a new location for the company in Fresno, Texas. While her company focuses more on upholstery for boats and airplanes, she's still in the automotive scene. In May 2022, she attended a car event and posted about it on Facebook saying, I'm so excited to be invited out by Shelby America, Team Shelby, and the Carol Shelby Foundation for this event. So looking forward to the car show and banquet that follows. Come on out and join us for a fantastic weekend. Meanwhile, on Instagram, she frequently shares images of her big family. Sue is big on family, and in one of the show's episodes, she disclosed that her daughter worked in her company and she hoped she would eventually take over the company. This is my daughter, Karen. She worked here Hi. eight years. I try to train her to do business so I can retire someday. She's thought to be worth more than $1.5 million. She's well off doing what she loves doing best, and we are glad she doesn't have to deal with Gas Monkey Garage and their cheap projects anymore.